and welcome to the Diaconate Program. My name is Deacon Sal. I'm a graduate of the Diaconate Program. The DVD you're watching was meant for you to watch with your clergy mentor. The Diaconate Program has a guide, and that guide is designed to help you, the Diaconate candidate, to learn about our faith more, to grow in your liturgical skills, and to also understand your pastoral needs of your parish and how to help your clergy meet those pastoral needs. Hi, my name is Jim Skevros. Uh, I'm on faculty here at Atlanta College at Holy Cross before Dark School of Theology. My title is the Cantonist Professor of Byzantine Studies and Professor of Early Christianity. And for the last seven years, I have been the faculty coordinator appointed by the faculty of the School of Theology as coordinator for the Diaconate Program. And the Diaconate Program started in 2007 and with the um, blessing of the Holy Parkville Synod of the Greek Orthodox Archdiocese, our faculty here at Holy Cross has been organizing and running the program for the last seven years. The Diaconate Guide is broken down on the table of contents so you understand how to go about being part of the Diaconate Program. The preface tells you a little bit about the program. The admission requirements tells you what you need to fill out for contact information and information that the school needs, as well as payment forms. The governance helps you to connect with who the Holy Synod is and how to connect with our leaders, our Metropolitans, our Archbishop, our Patriarch. It tells you about the program structure, how you need to complete sessions at the school and also term papers. There's the clergy mentoring portion of it, where you, the clergy mentor, guide the candidate, help them to understand liturgical practices as well as parish life. Under the clergy mentoring portion is the candidate's journal forms. These journal forms are meant to help you, the candidate, record, learn, and grow, both liturgically and pastorally. The cluster groups are meant to, to let you know that you're not alone in this program. There's the Metropolitan and the Chancellor. There might be deacons that are already ordained in your metropolis. These are all people that will be in your cluster that you get together with once or twice a year to learn, share fellowship with, and grow. The Diaconate Program is a three-year program. It consists of three two-week summer sessions, so a total of six summer sessions in all usually held sometime in July or early August where students come and participate um, in class, classroom lectures, um, in evening lectures, there's orthos in the morning, there's vespers every day at 5 p.m. as well, and in the evening there are liturgical practical classes as well as classes in Byzantine chant to help the candidate, the student, learn how to appropriately chant the petitions that he will be chanting as a deacon. In addition to the summer program, there are two other important and significant components to the diaconate program. One is the mentoring program, and the other one is the metropolis clusters um, that are organized at the level of, of each metropolis here in the United States. The clergy mentor, the mentoring aspect of the program is a critical component to the program. And it's a component that is that we rely upon the student and the student's clergy mentor who's been assigned to him by his local metropolitan. And it's the clergy mentor that now is a key player in the education of the diaconate candidate, the diaconate student. And the role of the mentoring program is an opportunity over two years. We structured it so you can get it done in two years, but depending on the time commitment of the candidate and the, and the clergy mentor, it can be extended over to, uh, beyond two years. But the way the program is designed is to allow the candidate and the clergy mentor to meet at least once a month, more frequently if possible, for counseling, for spiritual guidance, but also more importantly for hands-on mentoring. Uh, opportunities for the clergy mentor to to demonstrate practical aspects of the diaconate, liturgically speaking in particular, but also pastorally. The diaconate guide and the diaconate program go hand in hand. Part two, the clergy mentoring, is made so that you, the candidate, and the mentor can understand your responsibilities and understand that you're not alone 
and you're able to communicate with the school and also your metropolitan. There are three basic forms for you to fill out each year prior to going to the next session in the program. That's the clergy mentor form, the journal form for the candidate, and the pastoral visitation form. These forms are designed to document your progress and provide feedback to the people who run the program to make it stronger. The clergy mentor forms were designed to help you, the assigned clergy mentor, to understand your responsibilities and to help the candidate grow as you grow while you both do the program together. It helps you to set goals with the candidate for the year prior to the next sessions in the program. And it allows you to evaluate them on a scale of one to five on how the liturgical practices have been going and how they've been learning. You sign these forms and then send them back to the school to strengthen the program and to allow you to understand your responsibilities and your critical role as a clergy mentor. The key aspect to the diaconate guide are the journal entries that are required to be completed um, with your clergy mentor and signed by yourself and then your clergy mentor as well. And, and these journal entries uh, are ways, uh, a way in which you can monitor what you've been doing and a way in which we here at the, pro at the program uh, can make sure that you're actually doing the mentoring that needs to get done and that your clergy mentor has agreed that you've met that level of expertise on a particular aspect of the diaconate, of the diaconal ministry. This is a really important uh, piece to the bigger experience here of the diaconate program. Annual journal form is pretty much self-explanatory. You go to the sessions at the Greek Orthodox School of Theology, you come back, you discuss it with your clergy mentor, you set yearly goals for yourselves, and then it has a monthly way of suggesting things to discuss when you meet with your clergy mentor once a month for an hour. At the end of the form, it allows you to let the school know if you're gonna plan to make the next sessions, if you've done, and if you've done your pastoral care visitation form. You sign it and send it in, and it allows the school to have a record that you participated in your clergy mentoring. Each deacon servant is a little different. All of us have different God-given gifts. Some of us might be good at youth ministry. Some of us may have the time to very frequently visit nursing homes, visit shut-ins, and also visit prisons. There's 10 pastoral visits that are required in the diaconate program. There is a, in the guide, there is a form for those 10 pastoral visits. The guide is based on helping you and your clergy mentor to understand the pastoral visitation kit, what's in it, how you use it, how you communicate when you go visit that shedding, when you go visit the nursing home. What are some of the protocols that you need to understand for these different visits? After you've done the 10 required pastoral visitations with your clergy mentor, you fill out the form, you have the clergy mentor and yourself sign it, and you send it in at your last session of the program so that they have a record of it towards your ordination. The diaconate program understands that you may be a clergy mentor that was a deacon maybe for only a week before you were ordained a priest. You may have been a deacon a long time ago uh, and you, you feel like you, you might not be as confident as you'd like to be as a, as a clergy mentor. That's what the guide is there for. That's what the program sessions are there for. That's what the metropolis group clusters are there for. The program understands that. So don't feel like you have to have all the answers, but feel that you have a guide that does allow you to have a structure to help the candidate and yourself grow towards making a diaconate servant who will help the parish community and serve well. I thank you for, uh, for taking the time to view this DVD. I wish you well in the program as you consider the program for yourself for your family, for your church, for the glory of God. I wish you well if this is the path that you have chosen to follow, and may God bless your journey.